Hi, my name is Marin, and today I'm going to take you through a stretch routine for chronic pain. Chronic pain is something that's really difficult to overcome because you can get in sort of a cycle of doing things to help relieve the pain, but also contribute to furthering the pain. Doing something like stretching is a really great way to prevent further pain. So even if you are in pain, I want to encourage you to try to start stretching regularly easy but regularly. At the same time, you're going to notice a lot of reduction in inflammation, you're going to increase your flexibility which is going to reduce your risk for injury, and you're going to see that it'll help things that contribute to chronic pain whether it's arthritis, fibromyalgia, or just general inflammation and unwell feeling in your body. So stretching is really good. Also make sure you drink lots of water and get lots of rest and you'll see that your chronic pain will be gone in no time. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a really easy routine that we're going to start off with. If you're in chronic pain, we don't want to do it too hard. You should never feel any sharp pains, especially in your joints. So you want to push yourself to the limit of slight discomfort or feeling of stretching or tension within the muscles. But again, if you're feeling any sharp pains or extreme discomfort, you might want to talk to your healthcare professional to just make sure that you got everything checked out and in order. So let's start seated. You can do this on a chair. I like to sit cross-legged on the ground. And from here, let's just go ahead and breathe in deeply through the nose, fill up that belly, then exhale through the mouth. Let's breathe in a couple times more. In through the nose, fill up the belly, expand the lungs, then exhale slowly through the mouth. Once you're done there, I like to start by warming up my neck first. So I'm going to tilt to the side and then tilt to the side. Very gentle. Very gentle tilts in a nice controlled motion. This is just going to warm up the neck. Here at the top of our neck is one of the biggest places we can carry stress. And if our neck is stressed or if our hips are stressed, you're going to feel that tension throughout your whole body. So gently tilt your head side to side as you continue to breathe deeply. And when you start to feel a little loose, tilt your head to one side and gently place the palm of your hand on top of your head. You're neither pulling or putting weight on your head. You're just setting it there gently so that a little bit of gravity can pull you deeper into the stretch. If you feel like you get a good enough stretch without the hand, feel free to do it without the hand. You want to breathe into every stretch for at least five deep breaths. If it's too much for you, do two or three, three breaths, take a break, and do it again for another two to three breaths. When you're done with this side, exhale as you come to center, inhale as you tilt to the other side. Make sure you're not holding your breath, breathe in through that belly, try to relax your muscles, relax your shoulders, feel that stretch. And when you're done, let's go ahead and look up and tilt down up and tilt down. You're going to continue to do this until you feel like you're completely warmed up. And when you're ready, we're going to tilt the head down. Gently place one or two hands just at the back of the head. From here, we're going to gently place the opposite hand on the opposite knee and pull very gently into a nice little spinal twist. You're going to take your head and you're going to turn it as far back as you can. Again, do this very gently. Once you feel tightness or tension, stop right there and breathe into it. Nice, big, deep, slow breaths. And again, hold it for at least five deep breaths. You can also feel free to hold any of these poses for longer if you feel like you want to sit in them longer. That's good. Exhale as you come to center. Take a nice big inhale. And then make sure you do the other side too. So again, five to six deep breaths in these poses. For the purposes of making this video short and giving you all the information you need, I'm only going to hold it for one or two breaths. From here, you're going to place one hand, palm on the ground. Take the other hand and reach over that side. 
If you want, you can place the whole forearm on the ground. I like to make sure my shoulders are back and open so that you're not collapsing your chest. So open it up nice and wide, look up towards the sky, and reach your arm over as far as you can. If this is too difficult with the arm, you can raise it up with a bent elbow, just like this. Go easy on yourself. You should feel this stretch all the way down your arm, down your lats, and to, to your sides even. You might even feel it in your lower hip, kind of by your upper glute here. And that's totally fine. Just make sure you stay open. Your neck is nice and open to the sky. Five to six deep breaths. Exhale as you come up and do the other side as well. Good, from here, we're gonna take both hands, reach them up towards the sky, and bend forward. Now, if you don't wanna reach forward, you can also place your hands at the top of your thighs, right in front of your hips for support. Keep those shoulders back, nice and straight, open chest, and just bend at the waist so we're not collapsing our shoulders. Keep them all nice and tight. You might bend just a very little bit like this, and that's totally fine too. If you feel like it, you can drop your chin to your chest and deepen the stretch in the middle of your shoulder blades. Good, five to six deep breaths there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pivot ourselves so that we extend our legs down on the ground. If you feel like you can't sit upright in this position, you can take a couple pillows. I like using yoga blocks, bolsters, anything of that sort, and you can sit on it. And that's gonna help you be able to sit in an extended place like this. If this is still too hard, you can start with your legs slightly bent. Just make sure that you put it in that place where there is that slight discomfort or that tension so that you're feeling that stretch. And from here, you wanna reach for your toes. So if this is where you're at, that's totally fine, but slowly work out so that you're extending your legs more and then be completely extended and on the ground. And you wanna make sure you're sitting nice and upright, shoulders back, feel free to use straps. You can grab a towel and wrap it around your feet so that you can stay nice and upright and pull yourself towards your feet. Whatever you do, just stay nice and upright. I like to just grab the bottoms of my calves and pull the belly button towards the top of the thighs. A lot of people think forehead to knees, that'll create an arch in the back. So if you think belly button to the top of the thighs and then your shoulders job is just to stay nice and straight, you'll have nice good posture here. Breathe deeply for at least one to two breaths. If that's tough, then you can relax, take a big deep breath as you relax and then go back and do it two or three more times. Good. After that, we're gonna go ahead and lay flat on our backs. So get in a nice comfy spot on your exercise mat or on the ground. You can do this in bed if you want to, just as long as your bed doesn't sink too much. I want you to try to maintain a nice flat back on the ground. From here, I want you to focus on tilting your hips up. So your back's not arched like this. So rotate your hips up and then go ahead and take a big deep breath here. Relaxing all your limbs. And from here, let's go ahead and raise one knee up. Bring both hands, clasp them in front of the knee and pull that knee towards your chest. Just go ahead and relax. Make sure this other hip stays down on the ground. Five to six deep breaths and we're gonna go ahead and switch. Nice five to six deep breaths here as well. And once you're done, let's go ahead and raise both knees up. I like to place both my feet flat, bring them up here. You can either place your hands or your arms in a T or just flat on the ground, whatever is more comfortable for you. And let's go ahead and just rock our knees side to side. So we're just drawing a straight line across the sky with our knees, back and forth. Now from here, let's go ahead and hug our knees if we can. And continue to rock small little rocks side to side. This should massage out your lower back a little bit. Give your hips a nice compression. It's totally normal to feel a little compression in the hips here. And just breathe deeply into it. 
Lastly, I like to finish this routine by just rotating my hips. So both my shoulders are flat on the ground. So I'm just twisting my body here and I like to rotate my hips. You can either have both knees bent or just the opposite knee of the direction you're going bent. So if you're new to this, let's go ahead and start with both knees bent. Keep your arms out in a T or in a low V like this and just gently relax as gravity takes your knees over. If this is too tough for you, you can grab a pillow again or a bolster and place it right here so that when you twist, you can focus on relaxing those knees because I don't want you to hold them up. I want you to be able to twist all the way and relax in this twisting position. And then when you're done, bring it back up, five to six deep breaths, you can move your pillow and rotate to the other side. After you complete this routine, you can feel free to do the routine completely over again as many times as you like for a more complete thorough stretch or a slight workout too. And then when you're completely done, I like you to remain laying down or sit upright like this in a nice comfortable position and take another 10 to 15 deep breaths, eyes closed. You wanna make sure you breathe in through the nose, filling up that belly and really focus on letting it all out when you breathe. That's gonna help you relax, it's gonna help your body sort of accept and set into the stretching that you did, and then you're done. Do this consistently, try to do it every day. If you feel a little bit sore after, that's totally normal. Just mild soreness is fine, I would take a couple days off, but do it as regularly as you possibly can, and you'll see how much it'll contribute to easing the chronic pain that you feel on a daily basis. Thanks so much for watching, my name's Marin, and I hope you enjoyed this routine.